Hello everyone, Shane Brick Customs here today with a video which is the first of the casting series. I've been extremely busy so that's the reason I have not uploaded it but uh, the time is now. Um, what this video will be is me introducing you guys with the various materials you can use to make the moulds and um, I will start tonight with the first uh, tutorial of moulding. And of course, I'm going to go through a number of things. For example, techniques of molding. You can't. There's you know a number of ways you can mold. Number of materials you will use. And I'll start tonight with the most basic one, with the most basic and common material, which I'll show you now. Uh, and that material is a terracotta clay. Now, this is just a simple terracotta clay, it's the Jovi brand. You're going to want any terracotta. You're going to want terracotta clay. It can be oven hardening, but uh, you know, air hardening would probably be the best one to use. And this comes in a block about that long, very very um, cheap and um, not the best out of all these these three ones I'm going to be showing you but probably you know definitely the cheapest by far and does a pretty good job okay the second one is a two-part silicone mold putty you can buy this for most modeling stores um, and what you do is you take equal parts of these and you mix these putty pieces together and they will in turn create a mold which you can pour plastic resin into and it's also oven safe and this is again the second most expensive and also the, probably the second most accurate so it's a good little product right there last but not least is easily the best one and this is a bit harder to find this is a silicone now this is quite hard to find this stuff um, I only found it in my country New Zealand um, because of a well, my flatmate he works for this company, and I was originally going to buy it from the company listed there, STM Pro. And the problem was they only had silicone batches in large amounts, which ranged from something like $300 for 5 kgs. And of course, you, you know, it's just unrealistic. I just trapped down this, and it's only cost me $40. So, what you've got here is you've got the silicone here, which is a liquid, and you've got the catalyst here, which is also a liquid, and you add 100 to 100 parts of this, you add two parts of this. So again, this is going to need, you're going to need scales for this, you're going to need mixing and equipment. And what you do is you combine the two, and in 24 hours, this will set into a silicone putty, which is this stuff here. So as you can see, this is a mold I've already done. So it's got the hole there. And as you'll see, that's what that will look like. Again, those are the three materials, guys. Um, so the first one will be up tonight. And these are very... Um, well, some of them are common. This one's very common. Other two, not so much. But I just want to show you some of the uh, quality you can get. This is um, a two-piece mould here of a K crook head. Um, so I'll just demold this in front of you guys. So I'll take the top part off. What you see there, it's already got the whole cast into it and the beard piece. It's actually pulled out a little bit so that it actually should fit. There we go. So, what I'll do now is I'll just because it's silicone, I can flex it. So, I'll grab the edge there. there we go. And then you have a K crook head. And that should be perfectly ready to put it on a Lego minifig. And there you have it. So guys, for the first video, visit my um, my blog, and there will be the first casting video up later this evening. Um, be sure to subscribe, guys, and um, there is a little link on my blog for a company called Fish Pond Limited, and go check them out. They've got a good range of uh, Star Wars Lego, uh, a few vintage sets on there. So check that out as well. And um, yep, yeah. that's all for now, guys. Uh, have a good evening. Thanks. Bye.